In this video, we're going to cover the ins and outs of Emoji Kit. So to make an emoji, just click on any of these thumbnails, and an emoji will appear wherever your little ruler is in the timeline. If you want the emoji to appear at a certain location, you can also select a layer, then click your on, on your emoji, and it will try to center around that layer. We can also search emojis. So let's try searching an emotion like negative. You can see that all the negative emojis come up or happy. We can also search for things like hands, face, etc. And if your emoji size is too big or too small, you can click on this little gear icon. So here we can see that Currently, I have my emoji pixel value set to 150. So what that means is from the left side of my emoji to the right side of my emoji is approximately 150 pixels. So I'll change it. The default amount is 370. And now when I click on an emoji, it's much larger. So you can also change emoji looping settings. If you click on your emoji and then click on the effects control panel, then you can toggle this on and off. If you don't see the effects control, then go to window and select your effects control panel. So when I turn this off, this animation just plays one single time and then it stops. I can also turn the looping back on and then change the style to boomerang. So now the animation will play forward and then it will play backward and kind of loop like that. So let's take a look, it goes forward, now it plays backward, and it goes forever like that. The third option is to make your emoji completely static, so not animated at all, and we can do that by clicking into the pre-comp. Here there is a control layer and a checkbox that lets you turn the animation off. So you can see that you get this little badge that says static. This won't appear in your renders and it also won't appear when you leave the pre-comp. So it can be a little bit burdensome drilling down to turn your emojis on and off. So we also have a button to solve this. So I'll try it out. Currently my emoji is looping and I want it to be static. So I can hover over this animated button right here and you'll notice that it has some features. If I click, it says it will convert this to a non-animated emoji. So I'll give it a try, click on it, and now the emoji does not move. If I click it again, it goes back to its original settings. And I can also change the looping animation. So if I command click, I hold my command button on my keyboard, you'll notice that the loop setting just got turned off. So just a faster way maybe than navigating to your controls. You can also do this on multiple emojis at once. So if you select all your emojis, you can turn them to static or turn them to looping. Some other things that might be useful to know about Emoji Kit. Sometimes when you click on one of the more complex animations, it might take a little while to build. But after you build it once, you can much quickly replicate them. So these are, it looks like they're taking pretty quick to create, but sometimes it might take a little bit longer, a couple seconds. And if that's the case, it will only take that long the first time around. Okay, other features of Emoji Kit are this little start marker. So you can actually change when the emoji starts with that marker. But um, first I wanna say why this is useful. So right now we have the emoji being completely static until this passes the start marker. So that's great because if you want to, say, animate this onto screen, maybe it scales up or maybe it slides in, then maybe you want the animation to start at a certain point. So we can just move this little start marker and now you can see the animation doesn't do anything until that start marker is passed. So this covers all the features of Emoji Kit. Thank you for watching. I hope that you find Emoji Kit helpful. There's a lot of really fun and cute animations in here to explore. And if you're ever curious or forget how to use Emoji Kit, you can also look for more tutorials 
and more tools just by clicking on this little settings icon as well. Thanks a lot. Bye.